Doctor, you talked about raising our omega-3 levels. How do we do that? I think fish is the most common uh, way to do that. Can we get it through farm-raised fish? I mean, you and I live in the Midwest where you know, we're, we're not near any oceans to get, right. to get uh, fish like that. We're, what's the best way to increase our omega-3 levels? Yeah, you're right. Fish is, is the most common way of getting uh, omega-3. And there are certain kinds of fish that have more omega-3 than others. The kind that, have, that are rich in omega-3 are like salmon, mm -hmm. mackerel, herring, uh, albacore tuna has got quite a bit more omega-3 than just the regular chunk light tuna. Uh, many of the po popular fish in America uh, or seafood, as I think about shrimp, uh, has almost no omega-3. Uh, cod, pollock, the, the, the white fish that they bread and fry in McDonald's, those don't have omega-3. It's not that the breading and frying destroys the omega-3s, it's that they aren't there in the first mm -hmm. place. Uh, so that kind of fish is not the kind of fish to use. Um, tilapia is another great example of a fish that has almost no omega-3. Uh, and it's better than a hot dog, you know, yeah. all things considered. Uh -huh. but it's not the way to get omega-3s. Um, there are new ways coming along. Of course, fish oils, that's a common way people get omega-3s. Uh, and, and these oils come from sardines and anchovies, typically, that are fished off the coast of South America uh, and eventually purified and encapsulated. And there's, of course, hundreds of varieties of fish oils that one can get. Uh, um, and that's not a bad way to go, either. It's probably the easiest way to go uh, in, in America, where you're right, getting fish is difficult. Farm mm -hmm. fish versus wild fish is an issue that often comes up. Uh, it, it's kind of evolving story. The evidence that's uh, in published databases is that the farmed salmon, which is where there's most of the data, mm -hmm. has as much omega-3 as wild salmon because the producers feed the animals omega-3 in their pens. So it's part of their diet, which is where the wild ones get it too. Uh, so it's, it's a matter of how much you feed them, uh, because fish don't make omega-3s any more than we do. Uh, they have to eat it. And so it's a matter of what they're fed, and, and salmon uh, farmers for years have always been putting fish oil in the food, uh, so they'll get the omega-3s. And so it, it was never an issue that farm salmon didn't have omega-3s and wild did. That, that's not true. Uh, it, the situation's evolving now as the uh, uh, fish farmers are experimenting with other ways to do to, to feed their fish more cheaply because mm -hmm. it's sort of like raising pigs we know a little bit about that from the upper <laughs> midwest there's a certain phase of their life a lifestyle lifespan lifestyle <laughs> a certain phase of their life where uh, the pig is fed a certain ration and then you finish the animal with a different kind of ration it works with cattle as well uh, the same with fish there's a certain part of their lifespan when they're given a diet that might not have much omega 3 but the last few months when they're growing fast and getting ready for market, that's when they switch to the omega-3 rich diet. Okay. Uh, so, you know, people can say, oh, they're feeding fish vegetable oils. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true, but it's not the way they finish them. Uh, so the, I still think farm salmon is a good source of omega-3, and it's certainly more affordable for most people. Mm -hmm. And I'd ra rather have them eat that than not eat salmon at all sure. because they can't afford it. How about the supplement form? Can you talk about that a little bit more? And is that an equally good way to get omega threes, or where does that fall? Uh, yeah, it, my 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 fundamental bias is I'm a nutrition uh, nutrition scientist, so we always like to say eat food, get your nutrients from food. But we've done some experiments where we compared eating salmon and albacore tuna to taking capsules, a direct head to head experiment to see how much omega three levels went up in the blood. And it turned out that they went up the same when you give them the same amount on, on a weekly basis. Because we gave two meals a week of the oily fish, okay. and every day we gave capsules, such that the, the sum of omega-3 over the whole week was the same. And the blood levels after four months were the same. So I, I think as a source of omega-3, uh, you could do oily fish or capsules and get the same benefit.